Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Oniche Floor Lamp with Shelves. You'll receive a half inch base, two quarter inch shelves, a square frame, the light fixture and top assembly, a four sided fabric sleeve, 12 1 inch posts in a bag marked B, four posts in a bag marked E, a pack of hardware marked H, and an instruction sheet. All the posts, shelves, and frame are made from wood with a black semi gloss stain. The fabric shade is a clean white made from an opaque plastic sheet with a rigid wire frame around the top and bottom. Let's go ahead and put together this lamp. You'll start with a half inch thick baseboard. It's got recessed holes on one side into which you'll insert the cap screws. Then attach four of the posts marked B onto the base using a Phillips head screwdriver. Then cover the holes on the bottom of the base with the four included foam feet sticker rounds. On top of the posts, screw in four of the double sided screws until they're tight. Then take one of the thin wood shelves and place it sticker side down over the screws. Complete the next tier with four more posts marked B by simply screwing them onto the exposed end of the double sided screw. The top of these posts will be finished the same way as the first shelf. Attach a double sided screw into the top of each post, then drop in the wood shelf sticker side down. Attach the remaining posts marked B onto the screws. At the top, use the last four double sided screws, then place the light fixture and top assembly piece with the socket on top onto the screws. Insert the threaded end of the socket stem into the hole in the center of the board, and then drop the ball and chain into the larger hole next to the socket stem. On the bottom, thread on the washer and wing nut to tighten the socket into place. Next, place the four plastic pegs into the small holes near each exposed screw. Use the four posts marked E for the last level. These posts are slightly shorter than the B posts, and they're sized for the lampshade. Finally, place the square frame on top with the recessed holes on top and drop the remaining four cap screws into the holes. Use the screwdriver to tighten them all the way down. Now you can take the four plastic caps in the hardware bag and cover the recessed holes on top. Slide the shade in through the top, making sure the bottom corners sit around the plastic pegs. Now there isn't an elegant solution for the power cord here. Included are two zip ties so you can bind it to one of the leg posts. I placed one zip tie at the very top and another at the very bottom. You'll have to cut the tails off to neaten them up. After binding the cord to the post, you've got 6 feet left to go to the outlet. The final height of the lamp is 62 inches, or just over 5 feet. To turn on and off the lamp, simply pull on the chain. I've got a soft white 100 watt equivalent fluorescent bulb in it right now. This bulb gives off a warm yellowish hue, but if you use a daylight white bulb, the light has a more bluish whitish hue. The shade itself dampens the light somewhat, so you'll lose a bit of lumens through it. But since the top is open, you'll get some light spread above as well. This light looks modern and stylish, and I like that the shelves are functional rather than the typical metal pole of floor lamps that simply take up space. Overall, the lamp was pretty simple to put together and only took me about 10 minutes. The wood, shade, and finish are of decent quality, and it's lightweight once assembled. Most importantly, it looks great and it's functional as well. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.